Hi everyone, I'm Ryan, the data analyst and technical engineer here at Talus Drones, and I'm here with the brand new Matrice 4T right out of the box. And just to discuss some features about it first, um, this drone weighs about two and a half pounds and it's just a little bit bigger than the uh, Mavic 3 series. And it has a horizontal speed of around 46 miles per hour, uh, ascent speed of 22 miles per hour, and a descent speed of 18 miles per hour. The max operating altitude that uh, this can reach is about two and a half miles in the air, and the max operating distance it can go is about 22 miles. Um, the intelligent flight battery inside, it has about a 6,700 milliamp hour uh, capacity, which allows it to do about 49 or almost 50 minutes of flight time, or if you're just hovering, it's about 46 minutes. Uh, in this drone itself, it can withstand about wind speeds about 26 miles per hour. So now, looking at the drone itself, basically in the top here, we have a built-in RTK antenna, so that allows for more, a lot more accuracy, and it's also no longer an accessory that you need to get, and now it just comes with the drone. There is a slot here, you can see where the DJI symbol is. Uh, that is where we can attach other accessories if you wish. Um, it comes with another additional beacon here that we can discuss later in the features. Uh, it comes with, uh, in the front and back and in the underside, there is the five directional cameras meant for obstacle avoidance and kind of danger sensing. Now, going to discuss for the camera. So, on the camera, in the bottom, in the middle right, there is the wide angle lens that allows for 48 megapixels of quality. There in the top right, there is the 70 millimeter focus camera for more close range quality photos. Um, in the middle left, there is the 160 millimeter camera and that allows for its long distance views of reaching around 112 times zoom. Um, in the bottom, very bottom left, this long silver bar here, that is the laser range finder. It allows it for mainly measuring distances, however, however many you seek, uh, up to 1.1 miles. In the bottom, is that bottom right, there is the near infrared ox light for image quality in dark scenarios. So allows you to light up the area a bit more, get better view of what you're looking at. And lastly, in the top left, we have the thermal camera. Now that thermal camera can, in the high range mode, it can measure temperatures any range from, I believe, negative four Fahrenheit to 300 Fahrenheit. And in the low range, it can measure 32 Fahrenheit to around 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, here we are out with the Matrice in the field. So first thing I'm going to showcase is the zoom feature. Uh, you can see all the preset zooms once you press in the, the button in the bottom right. You can see the plus sign identifier there. So each preset for the zoom, right now we're currently at 28 uh, times. Then we have 56 and then moving on to the 112. So this is the max uh, time zoom. It's a combination of the mechanical and digital zoom. So if we use the dial to zoom out here we can see that it can view things at a pretty pretty far distance and here we are at the one time zoom for comparison and now moving on to the AI features uh, the AI this is a new feature with the Matrice um, you can or Matrice 4T you can identify each cars and it can identify people cars boats uh, we, even planes earlier um, it even tries to keep up and matching with the movement as well. And this is the AI feature in conjunction with the smart tracking. So cool thing with this is that if an object moves out of the drone's line of sight, like how it is right now, the gimbal tries to keep up with the speed that the object was moving. And eventually it'll try to essentially reconnect with that object once it regains that line of sight. So you can see here it's passing through trees. Now we're moving on to the thermal. So once we enable the thermal, it'll be the IR button or the IR option you can see in the bottom left. We can change the color settings on the thermal as well. So right now this is the tint where red is hot, black is cold. 
Now for this, there's also additional ranges you can do with the thermo as well. There is a high range and high high range and a low range. Now we're moving on to the uh, laser range finder. So this is just for more a lot more accurate measurements of distance between the drone and where you are pointing at. So I believe the distance, the maximum distance is about 1,800 feet. And now these are all the features in conjunction together. So the AI, uh, car tra using the tracking to track the car, the smart tracking, um, and the laser range finder to see how far this, essentially this car is going. That's about it for the camera quality and everything on the drone. Now moving on to the remote controller. So if, if you're familiar with the Agris drones or you have flown any of those types of drones for a farm or any sort of thing, uh, the new DJI RC Plus 2 is very similar to let's say like a T50 or a T40 remote. As you can see here, it has the same build layout, same format, everything feels very comfortable to hold. And I think one difference is, uh, you can see that they removed the sock or the plugs here. Um, so for now it's only the HDMI and the USB-A uh, in the upper and they moved it to the bottom for right here. So there's the USB-C and that's where you attach the micro SD card. And yeah, so for this, these antennas here, they transmit through the flat side and it allows it for about a 15 mile uh, range. The internal battery gives it about four hours of operating time. And you can also attach a, another external battery to give it an additional four hours. And that's this black battery right here. And operating during the day, the screen, the 1920 by 1080 screen, uh, it handles fairly well during the day, um, which allows, you know, there's a lot of glare from the sun and everything when you're trying to look at a screen during the day. But for this, it has pretty, pretty clear and pretty good uh, sight, so you won't have that issue as well. And yeah, so that's all for the physical primary features of the Matrice 4T. And yeah, I'm Ryan. Uh, again, I'm the data analyst and technical engineer here at Talos Jones, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.